Many young people are attracted to the fashion industry for fame, fortune, but most of all, the glamour. And for a small group of hopefuls, the hard work necessary to make it big on the high street starts here, at the Shrewsbury College of Arts and Technology. I'm Nina Blakemore. I'm a plus-size model and stylist, and I'm here to find out how the next generation of fashion professionals cope with their first fashion show. This year, each first-year student has to produce one outfit on the theme of Savage Beast for the show, and some of them are taking it very seriously. There's a lot of people that want to be the best because the best dress goes on first. So I think everyone's competing for that and there's like a few, three or four people that are just, <laughs> just trying to be the first on. To me, the most important thing is for it to be the best fashion show it can possibly be because I really want it to be absolutely spectacular and um, I would do it for my dress to be on first. I'm quite a competitive person and if I don't like, if I'm not the first out, well, if my dress isn't the first out then I'll feel a bit, a little bit gutted. I've put so much into my dress, it's like I do it at home, I've made my accessories, I've made my shoes, I've done a hat and mask. It's just like when I get into like my brain set on something, I have to do it right or it's just I don't feel pleased with myself. I think the fact of having the fashion show coming up just makes me even more motivated to do it even better. Yvonne Fisher runs the course. I managed to catch up with her in between lessons. The fashion show um, it just sums up everything that the students do in their year on the extended diploma course. It's about showing their creations that they have designed, cut the patterns, made um, in a professional light. Tell me about the competition between them all. I think the first years have created that role themselves. Mm -hmm. There's always been a certain something to be proud of by being on first. But it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best dress. It just means that the first dress on sums up the whole image of what we've asked the students to do. I wanted to see what the students were doing for myself. I found Kaylee putting the finishing touches to her outfit. Tell me about your beautiful creation here. This is just stunning. Oh, thank you. Um, I got all the inspiration from Peacock. I can see that. Wonderful. Yeah, I just love all the colours, the greens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my favourite shade of green. Yeah. And just and the back's inspired by the peacock tail. So you've gone for like the peacock kind of um, the feathers with the tail as well. Yeah. And you've got a beautiful train going down here as well, haven't you? Yeah. On the floor. I love the fact that you've just kept it very simple with the black, but a beautiful style dress. And then of course added this gorgeous collar and then teamed it up with just these few feathers on the back here. So Kaylee, who's your model? I'm actually modeling the dress. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> Dick, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but it fits me perfectly, so I thought, why not? How would it feel if your dress was first down the catwalk? It'd be the best thing. Would you like that, would yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Because then I know I've achieved something. Well, I think you've achieved something anyway, my darling. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. It really is. I can't wait to see you in it. Thank you. The brief is to create the whole look for the outfit and Jack has made something that really caught my eye. So tell me about this fabulous crown because it is just sensational. Okay. Well the crown was something that I really wanted to create because I love like the theatrical side of fashion yeah. and the drama behind it mm -hmm. and I absolutely love the crown because it's so dramatic, it's yeah. very like outrageous mm -hmm. and out there and I think it works really well to give the dress a real different edge and to create that sort of like savage, angry, like, intimidating look which I really wanted. We're only a few days to go before the, the show, but you're still very much um, in the still very much in the making in the process. making process. So it's all coming just talk together. Us through the dress because I wanted the dress to be very classic, mm -hmm. very um, 
elegant, mm. but at the same time, have a very like sort of savagey, like sort of gothic -y twist. Yeah. So I use this sort of like spider webby lace on the front, it's fabulous, isn't which it? is also going to go on the back. And the great thing is it's sequined as well, so yeah. it glitters beautifully. With the lights, it'll be great, won't it'll be it? Great. And we've got net as well. This is going to be developed further with some silk chiffon over the top to soften it a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the grading between black, white, and grey works really well to create a lot more softer effect and the yeah. gradients of colours. It's fabulous because you've got that really kind of gorgeous evening look and then you've got this really fantastic yeah. like rah rah. So it sort of mixes up like rock chick and like gothic. I've back. also got my wings. Oh my which gosh. Are just over six feet wide. Wow. And they're covered <laughs> in mirror ball pieces just so they can absolutely glitter in the light. Uh -huh. And I hand printed the fabric as well. If you are chosen yeah. for your dress to be down the catwalk first, how do you think you're doing? Do you think you're in the running for it? I think I'm definitely in the running for it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm confident. Yep. I'm really confident that my design's a winner. Uh -huh. And um, in the end, we'll just have to see. But hope so, fingers well. crossed. Everything that I've seen from the students today has been to such a high standard. But as the deadline of the show approaches, the pressure is really building. Some of the students, though, still manage to keep a cool head. I'm nearly finished with my dress. I've done my accessories and everything. I just feel calmed now. In the next programme, we find out whose dress will get the accolade of becoming the first down the catwalk. <laughs>